Here are the top five stories you need to know about. We're tracking the results of our local elections. We're going to begin with the race for Chico City Council as we bring up those numbers. For District 1, uh, Michael O'Brien is leading and Mike Johnson is trailing. O'Brien has more than 20. 2,800 votes to 2,200 for Mike Johnson. Uh, Sean Morgan is the current person holding this seat. He chose not to run for re-election. Now to the race for uh, District 3, Chico City Council. This is the incumbent Dale Bennett with a very close race with challenger Monica McDaniel. Bennett leads by 44 votes. Bennett with 2,392 to McDaniel's 2,348. In the race for District 5, Chico City Council, Katie Hawley leading Melissa Lopez Mora. Hawley has 1,126 votes. That's about 73% of that vote. Lopez Mora has 415. Andrew Coolidge currently holds this seat. He chose not to run for reelection. And in Chico Council, District 7, the challenger Bryce Goldstein is leading the incumbent Deepika Tandon. Goldstein has more than 2,300 votes. Tandon has 1,499. And a developing story this morning, the public safety power shutoffs have begun in parts of Tehama and Glen counties. The power is out west of Corning and west of Orland. Those shutoffs could impact 22,000 people in 17 California counties. The power shutoffs began last night around 10.45 p.m. And power still could be shut off later today in the Butte County foothills. pg e said high winds and low humidity pose a wildfire danger that could threaten lives and property.